Have you explored your local parks lately? With 19 community centers, 65 community parks, and 15 athletic parks, Escambia County has something that everyone can enjoy. You can walk your dog at one of seven dedicated dog parks or take your family to an event at the beautiful Equestrian Center. With all of these options in mind, take a look at a few parks Escambia County has to offer. The playground at the Brownsville Community Center offers a fun place for children to play in the Brownsville area with several slides, monkey bars, and more. The community center also includes an inside basketball court for recreational activities. The Brownsville Community Center offers a summer program, after school program, and other community events throughout the year to keep the kids active and learning all year round. The Ebonwood Community Center offers a playground for children to enjoy, along with a volleyball court, walking path, and plenty of open green space for you and your friends and family to get out and play games together. The Community Center also offers a variety of activities throughout the year, including after school and senior programs. Spread over 10 acres, Regency Park is one of the largest parks in Escambia County. It features a walking path, dog park, and plenty of open space for recreational activities. Take the kids out for an afternoon and let them enjoy the assorted playground equipment or let them enjoy a nice day on the swing set. Regency Park also offers a basketball court, practice baseball backstop, security lights, and picnic area for residents of all ages to enjoy. Located off Mobile Highway near the Escambia County Equestrian Center, Beulah Regional Park truly offers something for everyone. Enjoy a nice game of basketball, walk on the .33 mile walking path, play a quick match of tennis, or grab some friends and family and play a nice game of volleyball on the sand volleyball court. Beulah Regional Park Playground has a variety of different options for kids to have fun. You can also bring your dog out for a nice walk in the designated dog park area. Avondale is an 8-acre neighborhood park that offers plenty of open space and a basketball court for recreational activities. Pack a lunch and take advantage of the covered picnic area or take a stroll on the park's half a mile walking path. Avondale Park also includes slides, a swing set, and a variety of fun playground equipment that kids will love to play with. Escambia County Parks aren't just about playgrounds. Did you know we also have a fishing pier for residents and tourists? The Pensacola Bay Fishing Bridge is open 365 days a year and is located next to the Pensacola Bay Bridge, also known as the Three Mile Bridge. Grab your rod and reel and enjoy a day of fishing with your family overlooking the beautiful Pensacola Bay. When it comes to youth sports in Escambia County, John R. Jones Athletic Complex is one of the busiest parks around. This 63-acre park has 12 youth baseball fields and a football field. This facility is also home to the Adult Softball and Miracle League Complex. The Adult Softball Complex has four 300-foot fields with 12-foot fences and covered dugouts. And the Miracle League Complex has three softball fields for special needs kids and adults. Partnerships with the Youth Association of Northeast Pensacola and the Inslee Chiefs Football Association provide sports programming for young people in the Inslee area. John R. Jones Athletic Complex also includes a covered pavilion, playground, security lights, and picnic area. Carver Park is a two-acre neighborhood park in Cantonment that has a volleyball court, basketball court, and open space for recreation. The park also includes a small community building and is home to some of the most historic oak trees in Escambia County. Take in the scenery on the park benches or pack a lunch and take advantage of the many picnic tables Carver Park has to offer. At 49 acres, the Bill Dixon Park has a playground that includes slides and climbing walls for the kids to play with and while they're playing, others can sit and relax at one of the two pavilions. Enjoy the view of the water while letting your dog play in the Bill Dixon Dog Park or take advantage of the boat ramp and enjoy the beautiful water directly. 
The Perdido Kids Park has a large amount of playground equipment for the kids to have fun with. When they walk into the park's large castle, they will be welcomed with slides, climbing walls, and more. Because each section of the park has different themes, kids can become pilots, firefighters, and race car drivers in the blink of an eye. Along with a large playground, the Perdido Kids Park has a pavilion and picnic table to enjoy the scenery. Located on Galvez Road, just south of Innerarity Point Road, the half-acre Galvez Landing boat ramp allows public access and boat launching into the intercoastal waterway west of the Perdido Bay Bridge. You can enjoy the beautiful view of the water from the pier or have a nice lunch on the picnic tables and enjoy it from there as well. While you're enjoying the Galvez Landing boat ramp, you'll have the opportunity to see amazing boats and ships sailing along the water. After seeing a few of the parks around Escambia County, go out and explore some of the other parks and centers that the county has and take advantage of all the resources that Escambia County provides. To get to the parks matrix, go to www.myescambia.com and click the parks icon. Once you're there, you'll be able to see information about the many parks around Escambia County. To rent a park pavilion or get general park information, call 850-475-5220 or email recreation at myescambia.com.